Kylie Oye, back with the next video in our series to help with recovery for your hack site. By now you've seen our first video, Overview of a Hack Site. This video, entitled Quarantine Your Site, is tailored to site owners who feel they have the technical skill to recover on their own, or they have a support team ready, and only need the general instructions. The following videos, which aim to provide those instructions, assume you have the ability to log into your site with full permissions through shell or terminal access, perform system administrator tasks, and modify code. If you're working alone and these skills seem too technical, you may consider reviewing a prior video, contact your hoster and build a support network because completing tasks in this and the following videos will be difficult without such knowledge. The goal of this video is to help you quarantine your site. To quarantine your site, we suggest three actions that will make it difficult for the cyber criminal's infection to spread and therefore unlikely to cause further harm to your site or your site's visitors. We'll start with taking your site offline. Second, contacting your hoster to make them aware of the situation. And last, changing all user passwords related to the website. This can potentially make the cyber criminal's re-entry to your site more difficult and buys time while you improve your site's defenses. Now that you've heard the overview, let's start by taking your site offline so that your website's pages are no longer served to visitors. Keep in mind that you'll likely soon need to bring your site back online for short periods of time during future recovery steps. We recommend taking your site completely offline, often by stopping your web server. Just using a robots.txt disallow or responding with a 4xx or 5xx status code like 404 or 503 isn't enough. Robots.txt disallow only blocks search engine crawlers, not regular users. A 404 response says the page isn't found. A 503 signals the service is unavailable. However, harmful content can still be returned to users as if it were 200. By taking your site completely offline, the malicious code and or spammy files the cyber criminal placed on your site won't be exposed to users and can't cause further damage. Therefore, if the hacker installed malware on your site, no longer can your compromised pages infect others as she had hoped. Once your site is offline, the second action to consider is contacting your hoster to give them a heads up of the situation. This is helpful because your hoster may already be taking action to correct the issue. Or, if the hosting provider was themselves compromised, it may help them understand the scope of the problem. At this point, your site is offline and your hoster has been notified. Now it's time for the third and last action in quarantining your site, account management. View a list of your site's users and check if the cyber criminal created a new login. If she did, delete it. Then, for all users and all accounts related to the site, change the passwords. This includes logins for FTP and database access, system administrators, and content management system, CMS, authoring accounts. When this is completed, your site is now quarantined. Please continue to the next step in recovery of a hack site. Touch base with Webmaster Tools.